I have the current plan that I'm going to work on to start bringing money in since essentially a business is money in. We can't say that we have a business if we're not getting any money in. So I did try SMMA. You've probably seen the previous video. And I did pick up some things that I find useful that I am taking into account going forward. The main reason I didn't like SMMA is because I was reaching out to businesses and people whenever I was doing the whole gyms or looking for personal trainers too. Um, the issue wasn't that they weren't making as much money. It was just that I was taking the whole approach that people t tell you to take. All of the gurus and everyone who says that, hey, send a bunch of cold emails, send a bunch of DMs, and it's all about numbers and stuff like that. And then you get caught up in the numbers, at least I did. And I lost the quality. And the quality is important. So I was not personalized. I was just another generic individual. And it reflected in my results. I know other people are successful in this, but based on my personality, I like doing things the more efficient and simple way. And through more research and continuously looking at copywriting and social media videos and client acquisition videos, I found out the approach I'm taking is to not just sell them on my services, but to actually partner with them and to basically and not some type of partnership where, uh, oh, can I get a 50% stake in your business? No, not that type of partnership. In this type of partnership, at least to start off with, I think it's simple enough to be, okay, I help you, you pay me, and I'm invested in you doing well because if I continue to get good results and you continue to grow, then I have these higher services that I charge more for, and then the partnership continues and continues down the road. And I like that method. And I like the method of instead of just sending random DMs, random cold emails, the cold approach, I like the warm approach. So basically, at least from the video I watched, he recommends a dream 100 list. And the dream 100 list, basically the top or whatever 100 companies or brands or influencers, whatever you're doing. Um, make a list of those people, all their contact information, social media profiles, email if you could get it, number if you could get it, website, all of that stuff. And keep it down to 100. And I like that approach. I haven't made my dream 100 list because I'm doing different uh, profiles and that's in different niches. But I have that passion, basically. So I'm going to make a dream 100 list in health and fitness. Uh, I'm going to probably put mindset in there too. Uh, Dream 100 list and video game and anime stuff. Now that one I'm kind of trying to figure out because I know it's going to be easy to find 100 people in the health and fitness and mindset. That's going to be the one that takes most of my time uh, in the sense of narrowing it down into people I honestly want to work with. I found one so far. And I'm going to reach out to this, that individual after I have my new website up uh, and other things for a partnership. I have an idea. I think it's going to be mutually beneficial. But the other one, video game design, there's one company, but I would like to work with them. But technically, they're a marketing company. They're called the video game or the game marketer. So that's probably why... Or maybe they haven't seen me enough interacting with their posts and stuff like that. But as I uh, become better, my following increases and stuff like that, I'll stand out. So I still have them on my list. I'm going to put that on there because it'll be nice uh, to work with them. I think that'll be mutually beneficial. I'll be able to learn stuff. But then the other thing is video game development companies too. Uh, I have to find ones. I think it's easier to find ones that are up and coming than companies that already had their breakout game. Like Alcat Games uh, is relatively new, but it had two good games. 
so far. And I think Rogue Trader is doing well. So that makes three. They have Pathfinder Kingmaker, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, and they recently released Rogue Trader. That's doing well. So I want to, and it's great. I think it's good for someone just starting out or someone newer on their journey than an experienced person to work with individuals, brands, companies just starting out. And I would suggest that to you too, if you're just starting out, find people you know, or yeah, you know, find people you know who are just starting out, but they have that drive and ambition and you see them putting in the work each and every day and see what you can do together. See how you can make money together. That's what I'm always thinking about. Unfortunately, most, well, I'm gonna say almost, yeah, I wanna say almost all of them. Almost all of the people I'm around, mostly young members, it's like, I can't make money. It's like they're not doing, they're into jobs. I can't partner with someone working a job. They, it's like, they talk about wanting to start a business, but not how a lot of people talk. And anyway, that's my plan right now, partnership. Looking for individuals just starting out or brands and offering my services, offering value up front. I am perfectly okay with that because that way, especially with web design, I can add that to my portfolio. I can have a list of all my projects. It's already in the website. Um, I just need to release it, do some, a few more things and they'll be ready to go. But having those things there would it showcase my project. So it helps me anyway, at least with web design. Um, and then other things, uh, it depends on the interaction. I'll have more information as I experiment with this and talk to more people. We'll see.